I am back and I'm looking sick as well. Look at the fucking face on this morsadel. Look at this. Come on. Tell me this fucking I didn't put on any size in the past couple months. You boy is looking fresh. They might as well put me in the middle of the Willowbrook Mall on a fucking spindle with a light shining down on top of me so I can go like this and slide around in a fucking circle. Like this. Put this face on. Today is a new day, parents. To all you parents out there, I'm going to teach you how to parent your child, preferably your, between your 14 and 18 year old daughters out there, I'm going to show you how to properly teach your husband how to parent your child. Let's say this Vanny Mortadella gets married down the line to my beautiful girlfriend Christina. A.K.A. Al Nitty is now wiped up and handcuffed to a fucking pole, can't go nowhere. A.K.A. Al Nitty's a very, very, very lucky man. A.K.A. Look at that beautiful guy that's walking up the stairs to serve out breakfast in bed. Oh yeah! A.K.A. Duke is so fucking boy. Let's say me and her are married. And I plant a couple seeds. But knowing all the testosterone that's flowing through his fucking body, what's gonna happen? She's going to be Octomom number two. Maybe even fucking double that. We'll see. Let's say I'm with her. All right? And we have a couple kids. We're sitting there. We're married. I work full days. She's at home cooking me dinner every fucking night and taking care of the kids. Changing diapers. Oh, look at the fucking piece of shit. You look a little wet. The piece of shit. You look a little wet. Let's say she's over there, right? She's in the kitchen. What's she doing in the kitchen? Baking me brownies while I'm at home work every fucking day. Maybe a chicken casserole. She's over there like this. She's fucking cooking. Tossing a frying pan in the fucking air like this and kissing me in the other hand. Like this. Maybe there's a little sauce on my neck and put in the background. And she's fucking dancing around like a fucking. She knows who's business, huh? Let's say she's over there. And what happens? Al Nitty comes home. I was just pumping these fucking veins like a monster in the fucking gym. I couldn't help myself. I get out a little early, so I come home. My daughter, Anita, come is sitting in the fucking room with Giuseppe Saracelli's son, all right? Let's say she's over there, and they're upstairs watching Backdoor Betty, all right? They get a little, they get a little nervous. He starts up at my daughter's tits trying to cop a fucking field, and I'm over here coming in the fucking house. My wife's in the kitchen. She can't take what's going on upstairs anymore. She hits me up because she's too much of a fucking fish of deal, all right? She goes like this. Oh my god. Al Nitty, go upstairs. Your daughter's getting raped. What did you fucking say? My daughter's what? So this is what happened. I go up the fucking stairs like this. Like a fucking robot, like Robocop in 92. Like this. Up the stairs and I open the door. Boom! I open the fucking door. The kid looks like he's in the shin's fucking pants, like turds coming out like fresh plump tomatoes. And he goes like this and he goes, Oh my god, I'm sorry, Mr. Alnitty. I'm sorry. What am, I, what am I gonna do? This is what I do. I walk up to him, I go like this. I go, You got two fucking choices. You hear that? Two fucking choices. You either go through me and hit for any more dollar, or you go out the fucking window like Ron Browns. You pick one, two choices. And A, he goes through this, or B, he goes out there. Maybe I'll throw a cucumber to the back of his throat on the way down. He chooses me, so what do I do? I do this. I go, you know what? You're a good kid. You're a good kid. Boom! I fucking hit him in the fucking head. I pounce on him. I fight his head up, I'm out of his fucking throat. And that's it. That's how I do it, baby. I'm a maniac.